Hi, this is Ricky from GoBoard, and this is a quick tutorial on how to have an online tutoring session using GoBoard. As you can see, I am on the screen that shows up when I type in my school's GoBoard domain, in this case, northern.goboard.com. Next, I will create a new GoBoard. When I do this, it will ask me if I am a tutor or a student. In this case, I am a tutor. It will now ask me if I am affiliated with a college or university, in which case I will write Northern University, and there it is, I click on it, and then it will give me the option to log in with whatever service I signed up with, so you can log in with Facebook, with Apple, or with Google. And of course, you have your TMS account here. If you have TMS credentials, you just put your email and your password, usually your school email. And if you don't have a TMS account, you have the option to sign up for a new one right here. Uh, in my case, though, I'm going to log in with my Google account. As soon as I log in, it'll take me directly to the beginning of the Go board. It'll ask me uh, to use my camera and my microphone. I will click allow and then I'll give GoBoard access to my camera, my microphone, and my speakers. You can also choose which ones to use. You can use, choose your camera, your microphone, and your speaker. There's also the camera. Hello! In this screen, you also have the option of inviting somebody to join you. In this case, it would probably be a student. You click on this button and you can copy the link to the Go board by clicking here, or you can simply invite somebody by writing their email address here and sending it to them. So let's go right into the Go board and see what's up. As you can see when we go in, you can see at the top right is a camera. Here you can also turn your video off, and you can also turn your microphone off. You can also hold down your right click on the mouse to access your wheel. Let's use the pen real quick. Wow. And then you can access an eraser and erase that. Awesome. You can also access the wheel by clicking basic tools up here. As you can see it's the same wheel that was accessed earlier. You can also click here in more tools to access a vast library of many different things. There's also specifically math, chemistry, physics, and business tools. There's also a reference library. With this, it opens up many, many references that you can use from each subject. You can also add your own resource. And here you can upload from the device a link or URL in any of these four programs. Let's try to insert one of them. So let's go to reference library, go to calculus, and let's insert a general calculus reference. As you can see, it inserts it into the go board. And I can move it, and I can also resize it. There's also the option to write on it. So if I click on the pen, I can write on here. And I can change colors as well. To end the session, all you have to do is close the browser or tab up here. And then click leave. At the end of the session, both myself and the student will receive will be emailed a PDF of the board with everything on it, as well as a link to this board. So for our next session, all we have to do is click that link, and it will bring us back to the same Go board room. Thank you very much for watching this basic tutorial on how to conduct an online tutoring session using Go board. Please send us any questions or ideas that you may have to help at tutormatchingservice.com. Also, don't forget to visit our Tutor Matching Service YouTube channel for more videos on Go board features, tips, and tricks. Thank you and have a wonderful day.